the first section of RTK, Planning for Plot Planning, insert the RTK High Precision Module into the remote control. Select the planning plot in the remote control. Select RTK Planning. Wait until the satellite longitude bar of the remote control turns green. Walk along the farmland boundary with the remote control in hand. Take a survey of the farmland. At each corner of the field, click to add a land point. If there is an obstacle in the working area, click on the drop-down list of boundary points on the right. Then expand the list. Click on a circular obstacle or polygon obstacle. Plan for obstacles. Click on the Save button in the bottom right corner when you have finished. Enter the name of the plot in the Save Plot pop-up. You can also drop down other buttons. Select the crop type. Click Save to complete the RTK plot plan. Once the RTK plan is complete, you can edit the new plot by clicking on the bottom right-hand corner. Open the remote control to enter the main interface. Click on Plot Planning in the main screen. Click on Aircraft Planning. Enter the Aircraft Planning interface. Manually control the aircraft to fly above the boundary point. After the aircraft has hovered and stabilized, tap the Add button on the right to add a plot boundary point. Note when the aircraft is flying above each boundary point. You need to click the Add button. To add the boundary points in the working area in order, add them one by one. There are obstacles in the working area. Click on the drop-down list of boundary points on the right to expand them. Click on a circular obstacle or polygon obstacle. Obstacle planning. Click on finish when the obstacle plan is complete, after the plot has been dotted. Click on the save button in the bottom right-hand corner. Enter the plot name in the save plot pop-up. Also you can drop down other buttons. Select the crop type. Click Save to complete the plot plan. Once the plot has been planned, you can click on the new plot in the bottom right corner to edit or call. To plan the corresponding plot, plot editing and task recall functions, Section 3 Plot Planning, Map Planning, open the remote control to enter the main interface. Click on Plot Planning in the main screen. Click on the remote control planning to enter the plot planning screen. Click on Remote Planning on the right-hand side. Expand the drop-down list and click on Map Planning. Enter the Map Planning interface. Refer to the satellite map. Click on the Add button on the right. Add the boundary points of the working area in order. Add them one by one. Add them clockwise or counterclockwise. If there is an obstacle in the working area, click on the boundary points on the right. Expand the drop-down list. Click on a circular obstacle or polygon obstacle. Plan the obstacle. Click on Finish when the obstacle plan is complete. After the plot has been dotted, click on the Save button in the bottom right corner. Enter the plot name in the Save Plot pop-up. Also drop down the other buttons to select the crop type. Click Save to complete the map plan. Once the map is complete, you can click on the new plot in the bottom right corner to edit or call up. To plan the plot accordingly, Plot Editing and Task Recall Functions. Section for Plot Editing. Plot Editing you can edit a plot after it has been planned. Or in the Task Call screen, click on Edit to enter. Select the Root Sub function to choose the Uniform Inward Zoom function. All plot boundaries can be adjusted to correspond to the distance between routes. Select the unilateral indentation function. You can adjust the distance between a specific plot boundary and its corresponding route.
The inward distance is the distance between the waypoint and the boundary used to increase the safety distance. Operational spacing. The distance between two adjacent routes can be adjusted. Obstacle margin function. Adjustable distance between the boundary of an obstacle and its corresponding course. When an obstacle is encountered, select the go round function. The aircraft will go round the obstacle. Continues on the same course. Select the return function. The aircraft will turn back when approaching an obstacle. Adjacent routes are executed first. Waypoint fine tuning interface for waypoint selection. Click on a boundary or obstacle point. You can navigate to the point by pressing the button. Click on the red delete icon. The selected point can be deleted. Click on the previous or next. Points can be selected clockwise or anti-clockwise. Route splitting drag the white sliders on the left and right ends to select the route to be executed. Click on OK to save the settings. Then click on any edge of the plot. The course is automatically aligned to that edge. You can also select a different edge alignment by clicking on the top or bottom side to select a different edge alignment or by using the wheel that appears on the right hand side. By clicking on the reverse side you can select the waypoint after editing the settings. Click OK to save the settings. After editing the plot, click OK to save the settings. Section 5 Plot Uploading, Downloading and Management Click on the download icon in the main interface. In the parcel interface, click the upload icon. Select the parcels that need to be uploaded. Click Upload. Complete the parcel upload. In the parcel interface, click the download icon. Select the plot to be downloaded. Click on Download. Complete the plot download operation. In the parcel interface, click on the edit icon in the plot screen. Select the parcel you want to delete. Click on Delete to complete the parcel deletion process. In the plot screen, you can select to view all plots with parcels in progress. Click on the search button. Enter the plot name in the search field. To search for the target plot, Section 6 Fully Autonomous Work. Click on Start Job in the main screen. Click on Core Plots. Select the plot to be worked on. Click on the core to enter the job settings. Set the spray rate, flight speed vs crop height parameter. If the job type is spreading, select a template for the broadcast material you have created. Or set the amount to be spread, rotor speed and flight speed relative to crop height. Click on Upload Job. Once the job has been successfully uploaded to the aircraft, click on Execute. In the job self-test pop-up, set its return altitude and speed. After confirming that there are no abnormalities in the flight status, slide the slider to execute the fully autonomous job.